Hey, welcome back to this new Pizza Drag tutorial and today we will do some sci-fi tunnel stuff. Let's go. This weekend it's summer sale on Blender Market and all of my tools are 25% off. Go check them out. See you there and bye. Okay, we are in a fresh Blender scene and today our guest is the Rust 3D here again. So, uh, but we need a, not a cube. We need a plane today. So let's bring in here the plane and we want to rotate this one here, minus 90 and the Y. Then we have to go into the edit mode and um, we want to select these upper point, points of these two. Uh, you can go here into the points mode uh, or press one and then you can select these. Uh, and we want to change these points here from one to five and these bottom points from minus one to minus five let's make a loop cut by pressing ctrl and r and yeah make a loop cut here in the center press on the mouse and then you can press escape um, and then we want to change uh, the value from the x to from zero to 1.5 let's make another loop cut press escape and change this one here to on. Now we want to change into face mode and select here this upper part and change the Z value to minus two. Yeah, and now we can select here in the edge mode. Let's go into two, all these, uh, uh, yeah, and, or this button here, the edges of, sorry, the edges of this one here by pressing the shift key and select these edges here right now. And we want to change the Y value to three. So that will be our structure for today. Now we can maybe let's rename this here to structure and yeah, let's duplicate this. And yeah, let's jump into the shading. And I want to bring in uh, a te texture from textures.com. So um, let's make a new one, material structure. And yeah, press control, shift and T. Uh, if this doesn't work, you can go here to preferences, search for uh, add-ons, Wrangler, node Wrangler, enable this one, and then it should work. Yeah, select this one, Control Shift and T. And yeah, we want to use, put a link into the description from this texture set here. We want to use everything. So let's select everything and use principle texture setup. And then everything will set up here now for us. But yeah, as always, we have to do some changes. So what we can do here now is go into the, sorry, let's go here into the X and Y settings. Let's change the value here to two, the X value. And I think we can uh, leave everything like it is. Um, but we have to add here um, some stuff in the roughness channel. So I want to go here now uh, with a roughness and add a ramp and put the ramp a little bit down here now the black one and the uh, white one so we have a little bit reflection going on here but as always it's up to you maybe we can hide here our rust for now so and i think that's that's okay here for now and we want to increase here uh, the normal map to four. We want, uh, we don't want to use the displacement here in the texture setup. So um, we can disable this one because we want to add the displacement now. For some EV stuff, we have to, uh, first we have to subdivide uh, this one. So let's go into the edit mode. We have to go into the face mode, press A to select everything and then right click 
subdivide, subdivide, subdivide three times. And now we want to go here into the add modifier. Now we want to go here into the add modifier and, and bring in here the subdivision surface. Uh, I want to bring this here to the render of five or maybe six, it's up to you in the rendered, and maybe three or four here in the, um, in the preview. And um, let's change it from Kalmok to simple. Now I want to bring in here another one, which is the displays. And yeah, we have to select now or create first a texture, which is, uh, which is really easy when we are pressing here on the new one. And now we have to go here into the texture properties and select the displacement map which we unlinked um, in the texture setup here. So uh, let's select this height map here right now. So that is looking good, but <laughs> not perfect. So uh, we have to change here the mapping to uh, the same settings which we set here in the X and Y. So let's change the one to two. And now we can go here into the settings again. Okay, now let's change the coordinates from local to UV. Yeah, we can bring down the strength from 1 to 0.2. And now we are having here uh, some yeah, stuff going on, which looks uh, really cool and detailed. Um, to make this even cooler, yeah, we don't need the displacement. We can yeah, select here the displacement folder and we want to go here into the emissive, change this to RGB is already set and bring this color thing into the emission palm. And now when we are increasing the emission, we can see that we are having here um, these glowy dots going on. Maybe let's see how does it look in the rendering. Uh, uh, not really cool, but we can enable here our stuff, which is M in occlusion bloom. So our stuff is a little bit more glowy now and screen space reflections as well. Okay, that is our structure. Let's rename this to final. The other stuff is back up. So maybe let's bring this here into a new folder, which is back up. Okay, back up. And now we can go ahead and make some little geometry node stuff. We want to add a new mesh, which will be the geometry node tunnel. Let's uh, hide this here for now. Go into the geometry nodes. Yeah, what we want to do now is um, yeah, uh, make a cut here. We need a object info. We need a mesh line and we need as always instance on points now we can bring all the stuff in let's put the mesh line into the points and the geometry into the instance we can select here now our oh sorry i used the wrong one we need a, a object info so put this one here into the instance and I want to use the structure final and bring in this geometry here. As we can see, everything is stacked up now, but we want to um, clone this into the Y direction. So let's change this to zero here. Let's go here with something like a four. I think a four is cool. As we can see now our tunnel or one wall of our tunnel is on the floor but to fix this uh, i want to go back here into the structure final which is this one which we created but as we can see when we select this one we have here these 90 degrees and to apply this um, to our object we can go here to object apply and all transforms and now we can see that uh, the wall is in the right direction now. So that is now our wall. To duplicate this one to the other side, we can easily go here and make a search here for transform and a join geometry. 
uh, not joint strings join geometry put this here in between and we want to put this one here into the geometry and this one into the ge <laughs> geometry as well and bring the scale now from one to minus one yeah and to change a little bit um the offset we can go here into a, add a transform and yeah change this one here to one to clone this and to the top we can uh yeah do the same thing again join geometry transform bring this one in here we don't need the minus one here now we need a minus one in the z value and put this one up here in the z value so maybe to something like this maybe 10 so let's see i think that's looking good yeah and as we can see we can change this um geometry a little bit more so uh i think we can go now with a two here in the translation so we have a li little bit more of room of the room here uh for our character and yeah let's let's go now to the camera view and i want to change this camera view now let's go here with a zero uh, one point minus 1.5 and 1.5 we change this one here to 90 degrees and zero this one out and now we can go into the camera settings and change the focal length to a really small number really fish eye stuff going on here so let's go to something like an eight and now we can easily add here a plane which should be the floor for our rust guy now and you know change this one a little bit up here maybe to something like this maybe let's bring this one a little bit to uh to the edge here of our guy yeah and now uh, we can go ahead and have some fun because this scene is not really cool now let's bring in here another cube which will be this fog layer here 10 70 and 25 let's see what we want to add here as a as a material new material let's delete the principal bsdf and search for volumetric scatter bring this one in and i want to go with a density of 0.1 and isotropy of 0.67 okay and when we are going to render it we can see here now that we're having a little bit of fog going on can add here now our lights i want to use here this light so maybe let's bring this one in and i want to change this to a blue maybe something like this and increase the strength to 5000 it's always good to enable the contact shadows yeah i want to bring this light to something like 0 20 and 15 let's duplicate this light and change this to something orange and i want to bring this down to minus 15. okay we can go ahead now and bring this one a little bit more in front of uh, our guy here maybe to something like this so we have a little bit more the fog style, uh, the foggy style here in the back. And yeah, the clear stuff is in the front. So to make uh, the last changes, we can go here into the scene settings and change the color to black. So it's everything a little bit more darker. And we can select here this uh, floor plane and yeah, make a material on it and change this to black as well. And maybe we can turn the roughness a little bit down. So there's a little bit more reflection going on. And for the last last thing, <laughs> we can go to the color management and add here a little bit more contrast if we want to. Maybe let's go here with a medium contrast. I think that's okay. 
And let's see if we can use this one for cycles as well. So let's hit into cycles. And I think this scene works uh, as well in cycles. So go ahead and try it out in cycles. <clears throat> that was this tutorial and if you like my stuff check out my channel or if you want to support me check out my blender market or combo page see you there bye